Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Online Banking System. And I had all of this project in Spring Boot, React, and uh, Masco. So for front-end development, I have used the React JS, and the, for API development, I have used the Spring Boot. And for database, I'm using the Masco database. Right? And uh, for ID, I have used the HTS Spring Boot tool suites, or you can say that the Eclipse ID for developing the API part microservices part which we have developed in uh, Spring Boot for front-end development for React JS development I have used the React uh, the Visual Studio code for developing it and MySQL workbench for the MySQL database for port I'm running the API part means Spring Boot part on port 8080 and for uh, React part for front-end part we are running the project on port 3000 right so these all of the technology stacks we have used for developing this project which name is online banking system so let's start with the features modules what we have developed inside this project right so the project title is online banking system and it is a major project developed in spring boot react and mysql it has two types of role the first one is the admin role second one is a user role right so once you run this project you will get this home page you can see this is the home page there is a slider running on the home page and you can see other banking services these are the, some banking services and it's coming from the database right all of the banking services are coming from the database you can add more banking services here if you click on any banking services you will be able to see the details of that banking services right this is all this is a about project and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right and this is sorry this is the about project this is a services page again this is the same services page which we have displayed on the home page right so once you click on the services page and once you click on the anything then you will be able to see the details of that services this is a login form and this is a central login form for customer and admin and both can log in from here this is a feedback customer can send the feedback to the admin and admin will be able to see all of the feedbacks so i'm going to log in as a as an admin first so user id is admin at the rate admin.com and the password is test once you log in then you will get this dashboard you can see this there are a lot of options available here right these are the admin dashboard these action admin can perform these are the menu items admin can perform these operations right let me go through one by one right home i already explained you the about uh, i already explained you this is a static page this is a dashboard page now i am going on to add new services this is the banking services which you are seeing on the home page these services you can add and update from here right so this is a banking service form this is add new transactions here you can add a transaction of the account from here there is account number you will select the account number and the transfer type you want to deposit the amount or you want to withdraw the amount and the cash deposit check deposit or the online transfer you will pick into the amount you can see this is the uh, text box sorry this is the number box and this is the date and transaction descriptions and once you submit it that will be saved inside the database this is a add new user from here you can add the new user this is a account type you can add the admin user also here and the normal user the nri account and the uh, indian account also right so this once you fill this form then all of the details will be saved inside the database using the api this is a add kyc you can add the kyc of the user you can check the these are the user right and you can enter the document type id number upload image and kyc means know your customer right you can upload the address proof id proof each and everything from here a single customer can have multiple kyc uh, documents so you can upload all of these from here this is an add account from here you can create the account right so here you will select the customer and this all drop downs are dynamic on the value of these drop downs are coming from the database customers and the branch and the account type you want to current account semi account demat account opening date customer photo nominee details right once you fill all of these forms and you can save these details into the database right so these all details are available here 
now i am going on this report part so this is the services report part you can see we have added the 11 sub 12 services you can add more services from here even you can search the services from here too right search you can see it's available and you can edit and delete the services the customer report all of the customers will be displayed here you can see this is the customer report this is a kyc report from here you can see the kyc of customer you can search the kyc from the kyc number you can see it's working fine you can edit and update the details here also this is account report and this all of the accounts will be displayed here and it contains a lot of features which is the base of the project the first thing is the transfer details right if any customer is transferring the amount from one account to beneficiary account you will be able to see the list of all transfer details here and once you click on this you will be able to see the details of transfer here right so this is the transfer report uh, where is that account report right so this is the first this first icon will show you all of the transfers the second icon will show all of the transactions so this is the transaction report for account number seven right details of the uh, account details of this all users details of customers right and here the transactions histories you can see so this customer has this balance and total credit rate amount this and total debit rate amount this and the current balance is this one right so balance will be this minus this will be this right so you will be able to see all of the balance here right and you can see the transaction history from here also so you can see the transaction history here right suppose if you have this number of balance and you want to uh, transfer more amount this this one then the system will restrict to let me show you the account number right transfer type withdraw amount i am withdrawing the amount and check right amount and i am entering the high amount which is higher than the current balance and deposit uh, withdraw transfer right if i click on the transfer you can see that account doesn't have balance you can maximum withdraw this number of amount so it will restrict you right to withdraw the amount suppose if i am withdrawing only 100 rupees right then it will allow me right so suppose if i am right and submit right you can see this 100 rupees is mentioned here and this 100 rupees is deducted from the balance right you can edit and delete the transition from here also right the next one is the account report and then the next one is a uh, this one right from this one you will be able to see the details all of the kyc so this is the details of the account customer and all of the kyc uploaded for that customers right so this account piece contains most of the information right you can edit and delete the account from here right this is a feedback report all of the feedback submitted by customer will be displayed here right and the logout so this is the session driven menu and if you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to log in inside the system right so logout you can see this menu has been changed because it's coming through the session if admin login then menu will be different if customer login it will be different if normal there is no login then it will be different now i am going to log in as a customer customer has their own features and so you can see customer has very less menu because this dashboard has changed according to the customer dashboard right you can see customer can add the face beneficiary deposit and withdraw amount transfer money my beneficiary so this all operation customer can perform and these all menu options are available here also so this is add beneficiary you can add the beneficiary here you can't transfer the amount from one account to a beneficiary account without adding the beneficiary so beneficiary adding is mandatory for any of the account transfer so this is a transfer amount so you suppose if you want to transfer the amount from account number seven and this drop down will show only those accounts which belongs to that login customer it will not show the other accounts right transfer from transfer type right here you can see transfer type anything so this is the beneficiary right amount is equal to this one and then this one and transfer okay again we have added so that if you high uh, if you enter the 
highest number which is higher than the balance then it will not allow you to transfer this is the right so this is 48047 now i am withdrawing only 2000 or 2200 right submit submit so you can see the 2200 has been submitted and you can see the details here right next one is a deposit and withdraw right you can deposit the amount in your account and then after that you can uh withdraw the amount also from this form right deposit and withdraw this is the my beneficiary you can see all of the beneficiary which you have added here right so you can edit and update the details so these are the beneficiary id for a single account for your account only it will not show the beneficiary for other account this is a my account details here you can see admin can't edit the user can't edit his details so this one the transfer you can see the transfer here right you can see the transaction details here you can see that 2200 is also available here and total amount remaining amount is this one right so this is the total remaining amount and this is the total credit and debit amount right so the same account which you transfer will be saved in the transfer table as well as the transaction table because that transfer is also a type of transactions right and this is a my account section from here uh, this is the my account submit feedback you can submit the feedback from here right and you can see the my profile here and you can update the name and details here right so these all features we have developed for the uh, customers right so these all features are available here right so again click on logout and that session will be destroyed so these all features we have developed and if you need extra features any new enhancement and if you need uh, more modules inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much